when you're producing now, which is amazing. Love that. Well, I basically grew up listening to uh, reggae, and got into metal, played jazz, all sorts of bands, and then finally got into uni. I had a spare time, just started producing them, and basically, and then in the circuit last year, see how the DJ progressed, and then this year, and the next year, hopefully, as well. So, what, type, what sort of tunes did you wear back then that sort of brought to yourself? Like, this and I can do this myself, of course. It was all, well, the initial dub set music I heard it was all Mala and this one mixed deep, so all the stuff that got me totally hooked on the dub set. And yeah, it's completely addicted to that. And then it kind of escalated into filthy stuff and how that is. But that's another story. But I solid in a life, reggae, dub reggae. Like. And that was, that was showing you changed the sound machine. Yeah. And even though you should be, you sound was very clean. Yeah. That's not what I could change, but it's clean. Not very inclusive, but at the same time, yeah, it's the point of the process, like, it's still like, you know, so. Yeah. So, let's take it back to where, like, where, you, where was it, the dubstep and your shame coming across, and you got the vibe and feeling from that. When did it first make the vibe to you, and you just getting the vibe sort of feedback from that? Um, well, I, when I made the early uh, goals, right? Let's say we've got time with the Lurie, the Kill, 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 the People who were quite in the dub set were kind of taken on, oh, I can hear it, like, I actually like it, it's dub set, it's strange. That's like a little escalate from that, yeah. So let's move it on to like, you, you know, the actual productions that you do yourself now, and the sort of like material that you're using, and the, the software in particular that you use, what is it, that's a particular software that you're into? Yeah, um, you know, literally from the start, I've been using Reason, and then got Reason Record. I can't wait for Reason 5 to come out. Right. But um, I've, recently, I've always used um, Pro Tools or Logic to do vocals and like. But um, yeah, it's a mixture of most things really. In Ableton as well for vocals. But being at uni as well, did you have to, did, that was just all you were seeing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I did a whole, a whole module in Pro Tools, for example. It just, yeah, it's a kind of, it's a good, it's an advantage really. You know. So when did you start DJing? When did you put things to self? Like, did, did you start production first and then go into DJing or was you DJing first? Well, I was always, I kind of, almost a combination because I was always in bands, I wasn't really DJing. I did the occasional night. Um, so you played instruments yourself? Yeah, I played, played instruments, but the, I, don't know, I kind of did a few DJ sets back at home and um, DJing never became serious until I got, um, got agents and the music kind of taken up online. That's what I actually did to be traveling with business. So, yeah, it's only until last year that it got serious. So, right, right. before that, I've been DJing, yeah. So, you've been basically, you've always been like a studio person and you've got a DJ. Well, initially, which isn't quite obvious from what you can tell at the moment, I'm definitely more of a producer than I am a um, DJ. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of studio sessions lined up over the next few months. So let's talk about the DJ set itself and what I've heard. And I'm not a crazy head from the mic set to myself, but from what I've read and from what I've heard from the clips, you've got a lot of great music there, which is what you've got to do, 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 which Ages ago, I got hold of a, a sample pack and I just obviously absolutely love great beat jungle. But um, in my sets at the moment, I'd, I'd absolutely love to play the music that's on my iTunes, for example, on my playlist. But it's far too, far too weird if people want to get it. So I try and get the next best thing, things that people can dance to, but it's something I absolutely love. So it's, um, yeah, I do mix up a bit, yeah. Like, and that shows in, in the actual material that you produce yourself, but like I say, that you use a lot of great beats. Yeah. In places where you weren't necessarily, yeah. and what led you to actually incorporating great beats back into what you said? I think that comes, that it definitely comes from my drumming. So I'm drumming. Like, right, so you're a drummer by trade anyway? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So I've been drumming most of my life, and I, I don't know, I just, I hear that in my head, so I put it in, and it seems to work. Right now I'm entering, Roxanne in both lettering, lettering, stepping in. Lost
your favourite MC, check the bin I wanna know what set you're in And who rests with her and him So, what's up, Tom Cry? I know you like Cry What's your studio like? What you building in your studio? Oh, well, it's constantly moving, mate I've got a little setup at home With my, my house But over the last few years I've been using university stuff At Princeton, actually Yeah, right, right, right But uh, just recently got a hold of it So uh, how did the, the concept game grow inside like you mixing all these sort of artists that you've been um, okay, and them sort of artists and So how it came about? How did that, that come about? Well, basically, um, Ellie was the first kind of legit and well it was actually a boot though, like, but it was the first kind of major artist I did before she got signed, so she sent me that song. Right. I, just, I, just, I was just working with people I was before that and kind of and then from producing stuff, sort of producing with it, and then overnight I made it. It got bleak, and then that's kind of the start of it. Yeah, and then the format and how I wanted to work was just happened then, and sort of the path became a bit more obvious. So let's talk a bit about the dubstep scene itself. Um, I've noticed with your actual sets, like I said, much here, you said, but you know, what I've read, mm -hmm. that you incorporate a lot of break. Do you find that's because that you want to give the audience something a bit more than just the dose that flavour, or do you feel that you know, those that is not becoming dry, but becoming more. It definitely is, um, there's a few parts. Accessible. Yeah, it's become, there's a few parts it's taken, I see. It's kind of, there's a, uh, like the chasing states, and then like the drum and bass and all that stuff, focus up, it's really, and then it's got as well, and then it's but it like kind of takes the angle on really, really good music that is really accessible. And then there's the other route which is it seems just like to fill through this people just trying to make the fill through yeah, 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 yeah. I see it could get a bit dry, but some of it's good, some of like it's debatable. And then But some of it's because it just says such an early genre, so we have spoken exactly, to the yeah, yeah. artists as well, because it's such an early genre, it's quite easy to make something that is out the norm, but like I said you've got a lot of people yeah. like so it becomes a genre that really so exactly. exactly. Um, and then there's a the series, the series come out, the series is, the, it's been around for ages and people are still making the same with the, the original music, like, track, 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 track. But, um, no, it's exactly, it's said it's really young, it's sort of old, people just, people just go straight to the game, like, right now, for the game's playing, for my yeah. but, like, really good, and it's very nice, so, yeah. So, where do you see those that are in the future, not at the moment, very much mainstream, it's very much, I think, um, I don't know, it's, uh, where it is at the moment, it's, it seems fine, I think it's almost going to stay, and it's like, going into the underground, coming back out, going into it, like, more successful. With the ground, it's, 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 it's going to be this, in, like, curve, it's not, I don't think it's ever going to drop back into the underground, or go straight to the mainstream, because there's always going to be tracks that people listen to pop records and actually take them, and they're like, quite like, understand it, and people in there. But I suppose what we need more, to will become more saturated with, more mainstream, people try and push it more mainstream because that's what they feel like. I think it might, but there's definitely going to be a limit on it because the sound is definitely one you can't. I know, as with everyone, well, most people that are into it, you feel the music, you don't get it, you don't get it. It's, kind of, it's always going to be a point, I think. It's definitely going to be a complete saturation. Um, That's one thing you can actually ask, actually. Yeah. Um, Dubstep in America is absolutely huge. 
Is that because yeah, it's, 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 it's more West Coast thing? Because you understand that the West Coast is more of a, um, you know, that sort of tempo, that sort of beat. Yeah, yeah, it's all the smoking, but then there's a the bowl more active. They're like, I don't know, I've seen that people don't really, they like the, the heavy hitting stuff, they like the filthy stuff and the, mm. the really energetic music. But um, yeah, I guess it's like some rock scale, really, that's how I use it. So you see, push it out there, big time, yeah. Don't put it in the middle, yeah. 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 Killing it twice, I didn't know. So you have the dumps that seem to be like all the way around the world now, so the more audience that was actually what you just bought. South Africa, that's what I know, yeah. Being able to be able to South Africa, like, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. But, um, but it's a good thing, like, you yeah. know, anybody in the world can understand it, yeah, so it means, I don't think it will, because that's great. It'll always stay really cool. Stay fresh, hopefully. Stay, stay tasty fresh, yeah.